We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. Tonight, we've got a good matchup in store between the St. Louis Cardinals and the Pittsburgh Pirates. Stepping into the box, Colton Wong. And we are set for baseball here this evening. Swing and a soft liner. Throws in time, and that's out number one. Here's Dexter Fowler now. Lifetime numbers against Joe Musgrove. He brings a scary 368 batting average. He's taken him deep once. Hit sharply on the ground. Scooped up. Throw gets him. Two down. Here's Paul Goldschmidt now. And you see the numbers there. He's been very dangerous at the plate, to say the least. Now a swing and a miss, and he's behind one and two. If the offense didn't already know, man on the mound's got his A-game fastball working today. Back up the middle. And that finds its way through for a base hit. At the plate, Matt Carpenter swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. Digging in, Kevin Newman. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Fastball catches the black there for a called strike. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Pulled high in the air out to left field. O'Neill waits on it. One down. Now to the plate, Adam Frazier, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. The 1-1 one -one home. Fouled away. Here's a little chopper up the middle. DeYoung fields it cleanly. And there's out number two. Up next for the Buckos, Ryan Reynolds. He had a couple of hits in that ball game last night. The 3 1. And a good job there to lay off. It's ball four as he becomes their first base runner of the ball game now with two away. The first baseman. Reynolds, runner at first with two gone. Really pulled that one across as the slider misses well inside. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Thomas makes the catch, and the inning is over. So Paul DeYoung digs in next, as it'll be 5, 6, and 7 due up to kick off the second inning. 1-1. One, one. Little chopper back to the mound. Throw to first will be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. Digging in, Yadier Molina, and he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. Now a ball lined to the left side, but foul. A swing and a ground ball to third. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Now the pitch. Now a swing and a miss. He struck him out. And it's two up, two down to start the second. In now, Tyler O'Neill. Batting average is a likely source of pride for him. Currently sitting in the high 320s. And, whoa, awfully close. But it's ball four, according to Woody Keller. 
Now batting, Lane Thomas. Man at first after the two out walk. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. No score here as we play inning number two. Nearly got the inside, but ruled the ball. Full count, three and two. Good running count right here. Three balls, two strikes, two outs, run run first. He'll be off to the races on this pitch. Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning. Ready to go for the last half of the inning, and set to go is the third baseman, Colin Moran. The 1-1 home. A little too tall that time. Three and one now. He walked the guy back in the first, and now he's looking like he might hand out another free pass to the leadoff guy here. You can't be walking a guy in inning and think you're going to have any success. And that's in there. Base hit. So now to the plate, Gregory Polanco. And he'll fall behind now to one and two. Pulled toward right center field. Back goes Thomas. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first out. Stepping up to the plate, Kevin Kramer. He went hitless last night in a game where his guys could push across only one score. Here's the one and one pitch. And he lays off this one down and in for ball two. Lifted the other way out to left center. O'Neill will range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the second out of the inning. Coming to the plate now, Jacob Stallings. He's hitting in the 270s on go. the season coming into this one. The 1-1 home. And a ball popped foul to the right side out of play. The one two. Ball. Now a swing and a ground ball for Wong at second. On to second for the force out, and the side is retired. New inning set to get underway, and into bat next, the pitcher Miles Michaelis. Cardinals pitcher up there with a one and two count. And it's fouled away. Another one two delivery. And he takes strike three called on the fastball. One gone. Here's Colton Wong now. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Can't find the zone there, and it's 3 and 1. Skied into straightaway right. Polanco has a read on it. And that's the second out of the inning. So bases are empty here with two gone. And that'll bring in the switch hitting outfielder Dexter Fowler. The 1-1 one, one home. High in the air down the right field line. Polanco is there and he'll make the catch to retire the side. And 
now it's the Pirates pitcher Joe Musgrove as we move on to the bottom of inning number three. Pirates pitcher at the plate with a one and two count. Here's a breaking ball but it doesn't quite find the strike zone. So you'd love for him to offer at that one but the execution was flawless. Nice curveball that starts in the zone and breaks just out. Just a great take by the batter. So he got him swinging. Joe Musgrove is retired for the first out here in the bottom half of the third. Fastball in there. Three and two. Three balls, two strikes. Down is full. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Center fielder on the run. He gets there, and that's the second out. Coming to the plate now, Adam Frazier. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. The 1-1 home. Well hit the other way, and it's into the gap. He's through first and hustling for second. And now he'll get into scoring position with two away. The center fielder, number 10, Brian At the plate now, Brian Reynolds. Line drive, and that's a base hit in the center field. And the run will score as the Pirates are on the board first. It's one to nothing. Number 55. Into the box now, Josh Bell. And, whoa, awfully close, but it's ball four, according to Woody Keller. Ready now, Colin Moran. One for one after a single this first time up. Yeah, and they take another single right here. That third base coach is dying to wave his arms. I wouldn't be surprised if anything hit hard through the infield. He's going to wave them. Out of the stretch, the 3 2 home. Count remains full. He set the payoff pitch. Late on that one as it's fouled off to the left side. And he struck him out. So he was forced to make nine pitches that at bat, but he'll take it as the inning is over. All set for the start of the inning and set to go is the veteran first baseman Paul Goldschmidt. Right side hit hard and this will get through into right and he's aboard with a single. The third baseman, number 13, Matt Stepping in now Carpenter. Matt Carpenter. And he wouldn't have made contact with that one with an oar. It's two and two. Good thing he didn't make contact with that pitch. Only thing he could do is probably hit that on the ground. It could be a double play ball. To second for one, but no real shot at two as he's safe easily at first. So that brings in the power hitting middle infielder Paul DeYoung. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. And he lays off here. A nice job. It's ball four. First and second now with one away. No runs, two hits, and no errors so far for the Redbirds. Slowly hit to first. I don't think they can get two. Bell scoops it up, and indeed he'll not even try as he goes to first, and that means two men are in scoring position now with two away. So stepping in, Tyler O'Neill, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. One two offering looked like a slider that time, but it's two and two. Struck him out, so they work out of the jam as he strands two men in scoring position. At the plate, Gregory Polanco comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Into his motion, here comes the 3 and 1. Look out as this bat shatters on impact. Reined in. 
throw in time as he's called out on a bang bang play at first. Now at the plate, Kevin Kramer. He flew out in his last at bat. One run on three hits and no errors so far for the Pirates. And he comes back with a fastball, one and two now. He pulls this one into right. Fowler is there, two down. Settling in now, Jacob Stallings. Can't catch the corner away with the fastball. It's two and one. Fouled off. Two out, nobody on. This should end the inning as it's sent out to second. Wong is there. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. All ready to go in the top of the fifth. And next, it'll be the outfielder, Lane Thomas. There's a fastball on the inner third taken for a strike. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. A full count, three balls and two strikes. You can bet they'd love ball four here. That gives the pitcher on deck an obvious bunt situation to move the runner into scoring position. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. So in now is the Cardinals pitcher, Miles Michaelis. First time up, he went down looking. Yeah, Maddie, and hopefully he got it out of his system. Especially now, he's got to bear down. He gets the two strikes in this spot. Has to put the ball in play. Count is one and two now. Just hung in there on that one. Again, a one-two. And he fouls this one off. Another one sent foul. The one two. These last two guys are making him work quite a bit out there. Both have been long at bats and all in all he's had to make 13 throws just to them so far. The two two one more time. He is swung on and missed he got him. Here's the second baseman, Colton Wong. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ballgame. 1-1. One, one. Bases are empty here with two men out. Lifted down the line and left. And this will wind up a foul ball. The 2-2. Two, two. Hit out towards second. Newman fields it cleanly. Ah, but the throw bounces on him at first, and the inning's going to continue. Ready once again, Dexter Fowler. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. Right side, but it's well fouled. He was looking for a swing and a miss breaker right there, but left that one in the zone that got fouled off. Look out. That one almost got away from him. Two and two now. Fastball didn't miss by much, and it's a full count now. Three and two. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. Yanked high and deep down the line in right. And it's a foul ball. A runner on first with two away. High in the air out to center field. And that ball gets down out near the wall and should be extra bases. And the tying run is in to score all the way from first. Steven Brault, a lefty standing six foot even, takes over the pitching duties here. To the plate now, Paul Goldschmidt hit hard on the ground at first. 
balanced throw gets him. Nice play there as the side is retired. Jose Osuna will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Number 36. Okay. Osuna. And that misses ball four now. It's a leadoff walk to get the home half of the fifth underway. Now batter. Digging in. Kevin Newman. 0 for 2. He's flown out twice. Newman. Look into Molina. Now the 1-1. One, one. Little tardy on that swing as it's well wide at first. Here's the 1-2 and two delivery. Ground ball sent back up the middle, and that is through into center field. A base hit onto the shortstop, but thrown away. Now back, no Adam into the box. Adam Frazier, fly ball heading for the alley. Back goes Thomas, but he's not going to get this one. It's into the gap. And the run will score all the way from first. It's now three to one. Now back, center fielder, Brian. So now to the plate, Brian Reynolds. Swing and a liner. That's in there. Base hit. Frazier is on his way home. And a relay to the plate. And he will beat the throw home. It's a four to one score now. So a new pitcher is set to go here as the right-hander Adam Wainwright gets the call. Standing in now, Josh Bell. Outside and low that time. Now it's two balls and two strikes. Boy, good cutting action to that pitch as that's the first out of the inning. So a runner on first with one out now. And that'll bring up Colin Moran. Moran. Now the one and one pitch. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Thomas is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. So two gone here in the Pirates' fifth, and the left-handed hitting outfielder Gregory Polanco bats next. Two and two. In my opinion, one of the toughest pitches in the game to square up. Just a heavy sinker with good downward action. Swing and a little blooper to center. In there, a base hit. The batter, number 44. At the plate now, Kevin Kramer. Hit hard on the ground to second. And that's through into right field for a base hit. In at second safely as a run will score on the play as well. Now batter, Hicker. Hicker. At the play, Jacob Stallings slapped hard the opposite way. A leaping try, but it's out of his reach and into the outfield. And the second run will score to make this a 7 to 1 ball game. Up next to the pilot. In now, Jose Osuna hit in the air down the right field line. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. The one two. Still a ball and two strikes. Two out with the man at first. Hit out towards second. Taken in by Wong. On to first, and it's in time as they're finally able to retire him. You're Robbie Ehrman takes over to start now the sixth inning the on the mound. Number 72, Robbie. Top half of the sixth about right. to get started, and that'll give way to the third baseman, Matt Carpenter. Just got the corner that time with a fastball. Strike two. Stung into the gap in right center for what should be extra bases. Heading for second is Carpenter. And he will make it there as the Cardinals get a man into scoring position on the leadoff double. Oh, 
Stepping in now, Paul DeYoung. And this is drifting foul back into the stands. So far this season, with runners in scoring position, DeYoung has an eye-grabbing batting line, one that resides above the 340 plateau. You want to talk about having a career season, Matty. This guy's batting average is through the roof, one of the best in the business. And maybe more importantly, his OPS is through the roof as well, which means he's doing it with damage. Here's the 1-1. One, one. And he misses 2-1. and one. First and second here with nobody out. 2-2 two and two to the Cardinals catcher. Man, the Redbirds, they've been struggling all game long. They've yet to been able to get that big hit. This is the time for the big hit for the Redbirds. Line towards center field. Well, this is unfortunately right at him in center field as he takes it in for the first out. Standing in, Tyler O'Neill. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Tyler O'Neill. 1 1 is laid off for ball two. Has to be a challenge pitch coming up here. He probably doesn't want to flirt with loading the bases. Line drive to center field. Reynolds is there now, and he has it to gone. Now with the plate, Lane Thomas. He's 0 for 2 with a strikeout in this one. Now a swing and a ball popped in the air back behind short. And the two-out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. So the batting order turns over now and set to go. Kevin Newman, he singled his last time up. Breaking ball that drops in for a strike. Hey, I don't mind that take right there. That was a nasty breaking ball. Started outside the zone, popped back inside the zone. Good spin rate on it. Move on to the next pitch. Throw just does beat him to the bag as that was pretty close. So the next to the plate for Pittsburgh, Adam Frazier. He's roped a couple of doubles in three trips to this point. The one-two. Bases are empty, one man out. Line drive, and that's a base hit in the center field. So now to the plate, Brian Reynolds. And that misses ball four. So it's first and second now with only one away. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Josh Bell. And he's the reigning recipient of the National League's Player of the Month Award. Flipped out the other way towards short. There's one. On to Goldschmidt, and it's in time. A double play, and the side is retired. Jairo Munoz is out of the dugout now as it looks like he'll come on and hit for the pitcher Wainwright. Number 34, Jairo Munoz. Two balls and a strike to the St. Louis leadoff hitter. Off-speed pitch misses here and he runs it to three and one. Good job to work the count and put himself back in the driver's seat. Started off with one strike, and now he's got the count in his favor, three and one. And the pinch hitter is retired here, one away. One gone for the Redbirds in the seventh, and that'll bring up Colton Wong. Colton Wong. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Popped up. Moran in foul ground. Two gone. Striding into the box. Dexter Fowler. It was an RBI double for him in his last turn to the plate. The 1-1 one -one home. Smoked on the ground up the middle. And that's through for a hit. Standing in now, Paul Goldschmidt. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. 
And he just couldn't keep that ball fair as it winds up a long foul ball. Now about a 58-foot breaking pitch that he wisely lays off here. Pretty good breaking ball to lay off of right there. If I'm pitching, I might think this guy might be sitting on something off speed. And a reach to his backhand side at second, but this finds a way by. So now they'll have two men in scoring position following the two-out double. The third baseman, number 13, Matt Carpenter. At the plate now, Matt Carpenter, right side. And that's by him into right field for a base hit. And not in time as the run scores. And it's in time to get him. But one run does come in to score on the play before the inning comes to an end. Hennessy's Cabrera gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Hennessy's Cabrera. Into the box now, Colin Moran. And there's ball two now. Two balls, one strike. Lifted in the air to straightaway center. Thomas has it for route number one. One away here for the Bucks in their half of the seventh. And the left-handed hitting outfielder Gregory Polanco bats next. The 2-2. Two -two. Gets him swinging. He struck him out. Into the box, Kevin Kramer. He came through with an RBI single in his last at-bat. The 2-1 home. It is a fastball in off the plate for a ball. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. But a good play by the first baseman to spear this one, and that'll retire the side. Michael Feliz is in out of the bullpen now as he'll be inserted into the number six spot following the double switch. Gerard Dyson will also come on now as he'll move into the pitcher's number nine hold in the order here on that double switch. Number six, Gerard Dyson. Three balls and a strike to the Cardinal shortstop. Call didn't go his way on two and one, but it's important here on three and one to still make a quality pitch. You have to have the mindset that you're still the one in the driver's seat. And a good take there will net him a base runner as it's ball four now to start the eighth inning. A runner at first with no outs here. All even now, two and two. Got to believe the pitcher's going to trust his defense right here. Look for something down in his zone to induce a ground ball double play. Two and two count. Here it comes. Grounded back up the middle. He's got it. Step on the back for one. On to first, but it's too late as the first base umpire says they just missed getting him at the back. So striding forward now, Tyler O'Neill, 0 for 2 on his line thus far. The 1 1 is in there for the second strike. To two balls and two strikes now. Runners on first with one down. And a fastball blew it right by him, and there are two down. Digging in now, Lane Thomas. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. The 1 1 home. Hit hard on the ground to second. Throw to second for the force out, and the side is retired. of inning number eight set to go and next to hit is the catcher Jacob Stallings from the windup the one one pitch strike swinging chased a high one there throw on to first is in time to get him so that'll go down as a strikeout and a two to three put out for out number one Here's Gerard Dyson, and he's getting his first plate appearance here in the eighth after entering off the bench just a little bit ago. Fly ball out toward left center field. 
O'Neill will range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the second out of the inning. Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Kevin Newman. He was a ground out victim last time up. Hit back up the middle. And the off balance throw is right there for the third out, and a high degree of difficulty on that one as the side is retired. Tommy Edmond is going to pinch hit here to lead off the ninth, and with his club already well down, he'll just need to try and get on base here. And he turns on one, sending it high and deep to right. And that is off the wall. And he's not stopping. He wants three. And he's going to make it safely. And a great start to the ninth as it's a leadoff now triple. Second Colton Wong. And now Colton Wong fouled away. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. And that'll get down out there for extra bases. He pulls into second safely as also on the play a run comes across to score. Right fielder, Dexter Fowler. Stepping in now, Dexter Fowler. This one's down to third. A dive and he knocks it down. And he'll make it to first easily on what will almost certainly be ruled an infield single. Keone Kella takes the ball now in inning number nine, looking to close the door. Into the box, Paul Goldschmidt. One and two now as that's in there at the knees. This is slowly hit to short, probably too slowly to get to. And he indeed takes only the out at first as the runners move to second and third with one away now. So now it'll be the four-hole hitter, Matt Carpenter. It's been a two-for-four effort for him so far in the ballgame. Swung on and missed. One and two now. Kella is one of those guys that just seems to be at his best under pressure. Runners in scoring position, tight game, tough hitters at the plate. That's when he's at his best. One of the keys, Matty V, to being a good reliever is being able to pitch out of trouble. Trouble that's created by the pitchers before you or sometimes you even have some mess that you put on yourself. Hey, regardless if it's a mess that he's inherited or one that he's created for himself, this guy makes good pitches when the game's on the line. Rolled slowly down the first baseline. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to go a little bit further outside the zone. Three foul balls in a row. He wants to get a swing and a miss on this next pitch. Count even at two and two. This pitch is taken high and away to fill the count. It's three and two. He's definitely going to want to get greedy in his own, and he's obviously seeing the ball well, or he would have swung at that pitch. Sometimes in these long, epic at-bats, they start to get into swing mode. So he punches him out and looking at the fastball. Matt Carpenter goes down for out number two in the top of the ninth. And he'll miss the target there with a the curveball, and it's two and one now. And think about it, in game one of this series, they've already had to go deep into their bullpen. This could affect them for the rest of the weekend if they don't get really good starting pitching. And now this crowd, estimated at around 26,000 fans, comes to their feet. Grounder down the line at third. But this is going to be a foul ball as that keeps things at two and two. Cardinals down to their final strike here. Now a fastball is lifted into the air to shallow center. And he's going to put this one away. And the Pirates will put an end to their three-game skid as this ball game is over. Look, it's easy. You don't have to look any further than the fifth inning to see where this game was decided. They put together a big rally and did everything down the stretch to secure this win. And tonight's final, 7-3. to three. The Pirates used a nice fifth inning to take the lead, and they never gave it back. Stephen Brault earns the victory out of the bullpen, his fifth.
Miles Michaelis was only able to work four innings as he takes the loss. Keone Kella records the save, his eighth of the season. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter, at MLB The Show. Here now is our final line score tonight. For the victorious Pirates, seven runs on ten hits. Two errors, they left seven men on base. For St. Louis, three runs on ten hits. No errors, they left 12 men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 15 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this evening. We remind you to please drive home safely.